All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the finny takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range to He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, single collar tie here. And they are exchanging leather early. Here he is back in the clinch. Just out of range with that right hook. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Single collar tie now. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal to this point. Oh, and he gets the take down here. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice hammer fist. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Nice punch, man. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Flips him with the left hand. The right hand just misses. And he landed the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? I know Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, next round is underway. And somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defense. Right hand punch to the clinch. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Big punch land. Ooh. Some nice back and forth action here. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just blown. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his look. Sound defensively blocks the shot. 
A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Right hand punch to the clinch. Single collar tie now. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. And now he's got the tie clinch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket. Yeah, that's a scary PC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. And they see it. Wow! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh! work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. That right hand landed. He blocks the punch. Nice straight punch. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them. Oh, huge elbow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got a... Oh. Holy smoke! What a sweep! Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Well, you've got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Boy, Thai Plum. Changes his stance. Whoa! He wiped the ball. Right, let's take a look back at the Play. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at one minute, six seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Goran! So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ. 